Hey guys, welcome back to church. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Grandia 2. Last time we talked to some people and the Pope and the books and we did that all the time before too. So let's go in here. Let's get some stuff done today. Audience chamber, is he sitting on his throne? He is not. Oh, can I go in that door? I don't think I can. I cannot, okay. So let's go upstairs and we'll talk to Pope one more time. See if we've made up our mind. We haven't really talked about it. Can I not go in there? Where am I supposed to go? Am I just supposed to leave? I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go. Hello? Okay. Yeah, we already, we already talked to you. We don't need to talk to you again. So I guess I leave then. Do I leave? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Do I talk to you? Ah, uh, to the balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, shut up. There is a balcony over here. Not that it really matters. We'll need to come here later. But, uh, yeah, there's nobody there at the moment. I believe, am I just supposed to try and leave now? Is that the plan? Oh, no, stop. No, stop. Yeah, I, can I move, please? Okay. I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go. I don't remember ever getting confused here, but oh well. Maybe I'm just supposed to talk to you? Maybe I'm just supposed to go in here. Am I supposed to go in here? I'm supposed to go in here. Okay. Dinner's ready. So I'm not supposed to go talk to the Pope yet. I'm supposed to go have dinner first. I remember this cutscene happening. I was trying to figure out where it happened. No one has ever found the Divine Sword. Must consult my auguries. I also don't know what that word means. This is going to be becoming a trend. This is going to happen like every episode or two going forward, isn't it? So, what are you doing with your frozen flame there, buddy? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I don't know. This is an evil sign. The day of darkness draws near. That light. Wait a minute, I know this theme. The demon herself. Probably not the best time to come out and play, Millennia. You do realize we're in church. There was a shatter of glass. The wings of Almar. Yeah, pretty much. He's still spouting poetry. Are you going to eat? I'm going to go look for the... It's funny he calls it a damn sword. And I just made a Chrono Cross reference. But it's also funny because it's supposed to be a holy sword. And he calls it a damn sword. But that is Ryudo. Of course he's going to say that. Sword interests me. Not heard of its like before. You two coming? Of course. I have no problem with either of you to go on along with me because you guys I've built up quite a bit over the course of this game. It'd be a pain in the ass if any of you just randomly left on me and I wasted all my points into you. We're eating. Valmar has taken human form and entered the cathedral. Um, no. I must go. Millennia. <laughs> we know it's Millennia. <laughs> Let's go see what she's up to. Remember that uh, balcony area that I was mentioning before that we need to go to eventually? This is when we have to go here. They, they don't ever tell us that we're supposed to go here, but that's where we're supposed to go. There she is. It's just like, okay, why are you here? Interesting that we get the church hymn in the presence of the demon. Of course.
Yeah, pretty much. Like I care. Wait, wait, what? Can smack you, stupid. Now, wait, what? I have no idea what's going on here. I don't think you've thought this through. See, when we find the sword, we're going to use it to stab evil people. Kind of like that demon. No one has ever been such a gentleman to me before. Just do what you think is best. No, not particularly. Are we now? How do you know this? What are we running out of time for? And other than becoming whole and getting more powerful, what else do you want? Anyway, enough of that. We end that cutscene and I don't think there's anything else to it. Now, do I go in here and talk to you now? Ah, now we go talk to you. There we go. Thought he was down here. I didn't remember going up to his room a second time. Yeah, we made up our mind. One question. To you or the church? And how will it be used? That's a good question. It belongs to none. Okay. It's interesting. Pretty much have no choice. It's not like we can, you know, hold him to it or anything like that. We're just going to have to trust him. And we're just going to nod at each other slowly. Very slowly. Time to rock. But not for the sake of Grannis or the church. <laughs> Sick of all the suffering in the world. Grannis won't do anything about it, then someone has to. Here's kind of a turning point for Yudo's character as well. He gets kind of fed up with all the religion happening here and nothing being done. And says, the hell with it, I'm going to do it myself. Which is kind of interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of that move forward for his character. But uh, I guess it's natural part of the progression. I just think it probably would be far later on in the progression of his... Uh, his kind of turn to the light side kind of deal that we're working on here. Did he now? Rito must face the past should he desire the divine sword. Ah, you should also take this along. It's sure to be useful. In other words, it's mostly crap. The Book of Priests sucks. It's got some stuff in there that we'll end up using, but they're only half useful things, so I don't know. It's better than the other one we got. What was it? The Book of Warriors or something like that, where there's only like two good things on the entire book. Anyway, I wasn't going to let a dainty little princess mince and prance around without her fearful, faithful, and obedient bodyguard. We are together again. Yay, I didn't waste any points into characters. Of course, if I had known that there would have been a waste, I probably wouldn't have wasted them. Anyway, enough of this. We should probably take a look at that book of priests. But uh, let's go through a few more cutscenes first. It's kind of hard to read that text against that background. Of course not. We wouldn't have the uh, the easy target for all the jokes. So where are we going to go? Holy book containing a passage. The people of darkness continue to hide deep within the bowels of the earth. Hmm. Well, perhaps if we visit the kingdom of Cyrum where I lived might learn something of those words. No, I just thought we might learn something useful. You want to go home, don't you? You were all like, yeah, we should travel together again, but I think he's a little bit homesick. He is a young one. Which probably means Melphus.
Climate is warm, lots of water, very good country. We don't need a weather report, kid. We need to find some leads. Might as well start in the uh, Kingdom of Cyrum. Lies to the east of the St. High Mountains. Let us go. Alrighty then. Yeah, did you really think we we're going to lose any party members? I just outfitted pretty much everybody with new gear. I kind of don't like how they do that in some games, but then again, you know, anytime they just spring it on you. By the way, you're losing this character and we give you no time to prepare for it. It's kind of an annoying move until you've played the game a couple times, you know exactly when it's going to happen and you strip that character before you lose them or lose them temporarily or whatever the thing may be. Anyway, same time, Pilgrim Road. This is both the longest, well, this is both the shortest and not the shortest dungeon in the entire game. Literally, if you just run straight down the steps, you'll end up at the end. But there are little paths out on either side that will lead you to um, some treasure and some monsters and stuff like that. So we're going to go and do that. Um, that's why you stay on the road. Okay. You are almost there. Anyway, so let's go down here. We'll start to uh, grab some of the treasure around here. This is why I kept all of the ladder climbing to a minimum because it's so slow. Okay, I know we just ran into a battle, but um, if you talk to him one more time, yes, I know I, I'm jumping back and forth here, but anyway, he's broken his habit and you talk to him enough times, he will ask us to convey a message to his son. Lives in Cyrum, since that's where we're going next. Um, sure, I don't mind. Working hard and coming to see you, so please wait for me. Only if we run into him, which of course we will, because I know where he is. Cute critter name, yeah, so basically we get a free pop knife. Yay! It's not like it wasn't on my list. I just forgot about it for some stupid reason. Anyway, you got to talk to him enough times at different points in the uh, plot in order to get all of those. So anyway, so there are six items on the left. That is two, three, three more items on the left side here. Don't bother going up any of those ladders. We don't need to. Uh, that's the underground path to the other side. Four. Oh. Okay, and so I already went to that side, so we want to keep going down the left here. And when I say left side, I mean the left side of the uh, the path there, the main path. Five, and, and where is six? I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. Seed of moves. Seed of moves, those are good. I like those. Uh, let's see. Nope. Uh, where's that under uh, under path there? We'll head over to the other side. I don't have the map open right now. I just remember that this leads under here. And I wonder if this leads to the only way we can get to certain parts of this. And after that battle, we finally get the Mirage Earring from the uh, Chameleons that I said uh, we'd be able to get. Uh, it's not something... Actually, you know what? It probably is something that I'll be putting on sooner rather than later. Um, on you anyway, just because I don't have anything better for you. Uh, there are a number of kind of builds, because you can build up a character so that they're high on evasion. Um, right now, it doesn't really matter, because the only other thing we have to pair it with are uh, illusion clothes, which I might as well give to him now, so he's got 20%. Not that I'm being hit anyway, but it's there. Um, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. But uh, yeah, you can build up characters so they have specific uh, strengths. So there's one item. Did I get one item? There's a magic blessing. I got another mirage earring. And there's a, a second item for this side. And that should be all of the items that we can find here. The other one is we'll want to head up one of these. I don't know. So I'm back at the start. Good. Uh, I'll actually eventually, slowly. I want to head down the main path now, and there's a another piece. I don't think it's that one. I think it's is it this one. Yes, it's the broken part, and this is a separate part of the area. And by doing so, we'll get access to two other items, one of them being another puff nut, 
and a bravery bandana, which actually isn't too bad. Um, let's see if we can get our way out of here before I'll take a look at it. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this dungeon. As you can see, we're back on the world map already and we've actually progressed, which gives us access to the Rowl Hills. Let's go there. The Rowl Hills is an area we'll actually be coming back to later in the game. So it's an area that is just very large that we'll probably want to become familiar with. And nicely enough is it's got a save point. The Bravery Bandana uh, it gives you five to act, banishes fear, so protects you against fear. I don't think fear is a status effect in this game, but whatever. It protects you against it. Yay! Um, it's got five to act. Can you guys use it? She can't use it, but everyone else can. Uh, if you want to give it to someone, you can. If I was going to give it to anyone, it would probably be Mare because this act stat is so low. Um, I think the enemies around here do use paralysis, so I'll probably keep that on. But going forward, when I don't need protection against paralysis, then I will probably equip... Uh, equipped him with that. So this area is very large and very wide open. It's also filled with a bunch of repeat enemies and some new ones, Land Cougar. As you can see, they use Runner a lot. Um, do I have a Snooze. These guys can be a bit of a pain. Let's see, let's hit him with Tremor. Feel the power of nature! Yeah, he's not much of a spellcaster, that's for sure. Probably could have used Craze too. Eh, I got two of them. And I got Tremor off, still hit this? two of them with it. And they, they produce damage from it. I probably should have looked at my notes. I don't think it's even in my notes. It is not in my notes. Helpful. Uh, let's see here. We could always win with a burn flame, especially since it's oh, instant. Oh, holy tongues of fire! And it's double its power. Yeah, one shots them. Um, let's give you a guard, and we'll put everybody there all at once, and we'll just all go and completely murder this guy with normal attacks. There we go. And he's dead. And the land <laughs> cougars, no what do they draw? Challenge. Scroll of all heal, always good. Gale stone, not particularly useful. But uh, most of the attack items at this point, if they're elemental, we can cast the spells already or we will be able to soon. And there's no real point. So there's some money there. This area, like I say, is very large um, and very easy to get lost in. So I'm going to try and make this as easy as I can and do it in kind of segments. Um, so first of all, we went all the way to the right of the screen. That is a puzzle for later because I don't have time to do that for now. Here we have a Buster Flail. I've seen a lot of people avoid using this. Uh, they'll leave this on or something like that. It does more damage if she uses a normal attack. It lowers her move, which she rarely uses, and it doesn't affect her magic stat. So you might as well. Uh, let's see, we'll take on you. Okay, so we're still doing a bunch of circles here. Very easy to get confused. Basically, we're in one big area right now, and that's the same area that has the save point in it. And there should be, yes, there's an item around here. And I have a very healthy supply at this point of Ogre Helms and, oh, what's the other one? Oh God, there's so many enemies around here. Okay, so this is still basically other than that one item that I skipped over that I pointed out and that we didn't get. Okay, so we just finished off all the enemies in this part of the area. Basically, like I was saying, there's only one other item left, which is this one, Thunder Ring. Um, the enemies over here, other than the Land Cougar, are all the same enemies we've been fighting forever. Here is a broken bridge that we can't pass. So the only way to proceed forward is to go over this direction by where we got the Buster Flail to this labyrinthine contraption. 
and we will be going over that next time. But just so you kind of have an idea of where we are, there were only, I believe, those three items, the Buster Flail, the Thunder Ring, and that chest uh, of gold on this side. A bunch of enemies, you don't have to fight them all if you don't want to, but basically we've already gotten all the items over there, just trying to keep things organized because it's very easy to miss items around here. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.